Good afternoon. It's been a little while since I've given a lymphoma update and I'm wearing maybe a different hat. I think I may have worn this hat before. Uh, it's my Caterpillar hat. It's one of my work hats, one of the ones I don't mind getting dirty. Well, that doesn't mean I don't get some of the other ones dirty because what ends up happening, I don't even think about what have, hat I have on. In fact, I bought this really nice white, nice white and red South Carolina hat that I think I've worn for this and totally forgot I had it on. And I was working in the basement and came up, and looked in the mirror and it was all dirty. And I was so disappointed because I have a few hats that I don't want to wear for work. And I forget I have them on my head and I go do something, get them all dirty. Uh, the background is in our hallway. I knew I hadn't used this, so I thought I'd use it. A couple of the prints that Denise hung up, we have all over the house. And uh, there's a boy there, there's a thermostat, and then there's a little girl over here. And kind of reminds me of a couple of our kids maybe, but it's not. Uh, I wanted to give you an update. I haven't updated since back in January, I believe. And I had a PET scan met with an oncologist in the University of Michigan, and she sort of gave us three options. It might be large B-cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. It might be a low-level or indolent lymphoma. And in that case, they would just kind of monitor it, or it might be nothing. And we were really hoping for the nothing. When you hear nothing when you have cancer, boy, that's where you go. Oh, yeah, it's nothing. That's what we're shooting for. Of course, that's what we were praying for. But that's not what the Lord had in store. It is something. It is most likely large B cell lymphoma. So the size and the abnormal uptake, which is how the PET scan reads, it looks like a lit up area. And uh, she did a really good job of showing the different pictures and comparing yesterday of different past PET scans and this PET scan. And you can see where these other lymph nodes are uh, hot spots. So what happens now? So I had a PET scan uh, on, uh, I think it was April 12th had a meeting with the lymphoma specialist at the University of Michigan yesterday. And what happens now is I have a biopsy on Tuesday. They have to determine now what type of cancer this is. She suspects that it's the same type of cancer, that it's large B cell lymphoma, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. If that is the case, what she's recommending at this point, based on that outcome, uh, something called CAR-T. It's C-A-R-T, but they don't say CART. They say CAR-T. I'm not really sure why yet. I'm going to do a little bit more research. She gave me some stuff on it. But what it basically amounts to is, and it's new, it's just been approved. And in the studies and tests and research, it is more effective than a previous type of uh, chemotherapy, which is RICE, R-I-C-E. And I don't know, I can't remember what those letters stand for. So uh, both of those are a type of chemotherapy used in conjunction with stem cell transplant. And what will happen with this CAR-T is they'll take my stem cells and they will genetically modify them, pump them back into my body, and they're designed, genetically modified, to go after the specific type of cancer that I have. That sounds like science fiction, and it you know, sounds kind of scary, but from what this oncologist, lymphoma specialist told us, they're very optimistic about this treatment. So I appreciate your prayers. That's really all I have to report. When I have the biopsy, I'll probably get on here again sometime after the biopsy, once I get the results, which would be in about a week and a half, biopsy on Tuesday. I, I'm so thankful uh, for how quickly both Battle Creek uh, Cancer Center and the University of Michigan jump on this stuff. They are very professional. Uh, she's the, the uh, Dr. Karimi spends a lot of time with us. She's very informative. She asks us what kind of questions we have and answers them very thoroughly and just really on the ball. I really, I really, I I liked everyone that I've dealt with so far, um, but I really like Dr. Karimi. And uh, just pray for uh, me to be a testimony to the people that I'm around at the hospital. Pray for my family. Pray for Denise. Uh, this has been a tremendous load on her. She's teaching school full time. She's working on a master's degree. We have a 10 year old adopted son. We have grant. We have three grandkids coming over the next four months. Uh, so. Thought there was someone coming home. I think it's the cat. So anyway, I appreciate your prayers. Appreciate everyone asking about it. And and I, I really 
am thankful for all the blessings in my life and all the people that care enough to pray and ask and watch these videos and just have an interest. And I, and I really appreciate that. I'm so thankful for what you folks mean to me and how many I've gotten calls today, was able to update people. And um, I appreciate that. So thank you very much. And I'll update you probably in about two weeks. So once again, thank you for your prayers. Have a wonderful day. Praise the Lord. God, to God be the glory. Amen.